This is the second in a series of four videos on the miter stand, miter saw stand construction. And in this video, I want to describe construction of the work support wings, um, the fold up work support wings, the jackknife braces that hold them up, collapse to let them fall down, and the fences for the work support wings. Support wings, and uh, at the inner end, it's going to be a doubler with a hole for a pivot rod on which the wings to fold up and to pivot up and down. And at the forward edge, I'll add a, a second layer of 5 h plywood to, to strengthen the work support wings. To make the hole for the pivot rod, I'm just going to use a dado blade, quarter inch wide, a dado blade stack, quarter inch wide, and I'm going to make a hole on each of these blocks, a square hole for the pivot rod to, to nest in. Okay, I'm installing the work support wings and I've laid a fairly straight 2x6 plank across the saw table uh, and I'm installing the stands that carry the work support wings. I've made two pairs of stands out of uh, oak scraps, drilled holes for mounting bolts, and Using a uh, piece of 15 millimeter plywood scrap as a spacer, I'm, I've clamped the stand in place and I'm going to drill for, for the mounting bolts. The only precaution here is to make sure you don't drill into the drawer uh, glide uh, or drawer track. two carriage bolts to hold each of these stands. Got a quarter inch rod going through, repeat drilling and installing bolts for the rear stand on each side. One of the handiest features of my miter saw stand next to the retracting casters is the quick and easy fold up work support wings and the jackknife braces that fall into place automatically. Let's see if we can figure out where to install these braces. So we need, we need to have them installed so the Brace will fold up inside the support wing and also installed so it holds the table up level with a miter saw stand. The links are all 18 inches center to center. The upper link is a little longer because it's got this little piece of plywood nailed and glued to keep the brace from falling past over center. So the effective length of the combined link is 36 inches. Let's see if we can e easily calculate where to position the links. If this represents the sidewall of the cabinet and a pillow block, and this represents the work support wing with another pillow block, and here's a pivot point. We'll use the Pythagoras formula, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that's 
true of any triangle with a square corner. A wonderful theory branched a whole uh, new field of mathematics. Anyway, we have on the what they call the hypotenuse 36 inches. And if we square that, 1296. This distance squared plus this distance squared should equal 1296. So we're going to divide that in two. 648. So the square root of 648 is 25.5. So 25.5 squared is 648. 25.5 squared is 648. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we should be able to position the pivot bolt 25 and a half inches uh, from the pillow block bolt to the wing pivot bolt. Twenty-five and a half inches up from the pivot rod. Here's one link pair that will support the uh, work support wing. And it consists of pillow block, upper link, lower link, and another pillow block. And if you notice, I've made these pillow blocks with slots so I can make some fine adjustments uh, because it doesn't matter how actually I measure, I can never seem to get it quite right on the first try. Another thing is that they should be installed with the, with the upper link behind the pillow block, the lower link behind the upper link, and the lower pillow block behind the lower link, so that when they fold up, the, the pillow blocks aren't interfering. Okay, I'm going to install this upper pillow block at the mark that I made here 25 and a half inches from the pivot rod. Okay, and if we do everything right, This should fold up with the links to the side. Now what I'm going to do is simply mark the position of the lower pillow block while the wing is folded down. And I'm going to prop up the wing and install the lower pillow block at the marks. Folds satisfactorily, and let's check with a straight edge. It's just a smidgen too high, so I'll move the lower pillow block down just a, a few thousandths of an inch and move this upper pillow block out just a, a similar few thousandths of an inch. And by trial and error, I'll keep doing that until I get this level with the, with the table, with the saw table. Well, it didn't take very much adjusting, but now 100% satisfied with the results. Got it perfectly flat, and the wing folds properly.
there's one final detail uh, for the work support wings, and that is a fence for each one. I've made up a fence with a baseboard and a face board, and three bolts by which the uh, fence is attached to the wing. The uh, three bolts are in long slots, so I can move the fence out and move the, the saw fence fully out to give clearance for bevel cuts. I made the slots by gluing four spacers to the baseboard and then gluing a long strip to the back side of the spacers. I like to, wherever possible, um, make adjustments without using tools. So I've made some knobs here and I've just buried uh, quarter inch nuts in this plywood, plywood nut. Each of the three bolts has a flat washer under the uh, head and a fender washer on top of the slot. The holes in the wing are elongated fore and aft slightly so that the fence can be aligned with the fence on the miter saw. I just added this extra strip to the back of the face um, so I'd have enough room here for a self-adhesive left-to-right or right-to-left tape uh, for, a repeat, for setting a repeat cut stop. Or there's enough room here to put on a track if you wanted to go full scale and put on a, say, a commercially available track with a, uh, work uh, a repeat cut stop. I did make up my own repeat cut stop. A stiff compression spring levering the two pieces of plywood against the fence and it holds securely. Uh, my stop features a little flip up uh, stop so that you can make your first cut to square off the end of the board then flip the stop down to make repeat cut stops.